So let's say I've just passed guard, whatever method, it's got open guard, whatever. First thing he's going to do is put his arms in front, because that's his next level of guard. The legs were only just one part. Part two, less effective, but still important, is this. And he's not one going to want me to close the space. So the most obvious thing, even to the uninitiated, is this stiff arm. So the first thing you can do, a very obvious one, is grab the arm and just sink in for the best Keswick tummy that you can. And you're obviously trying to secure that. So once you've got this arm, you have the chance to get underneath and move up and then try and go into side control. That's part one. This is a three-part drill, okay? So what we're going to do is your partner's going to stand here. We're just going to let you pass the guard. Whatever way. And he's going to meet you with this stiff arm. He can actually take my weight with this. Yeah? <coughs> And if you just go, oh, I'll just take side control for me, <coughs> you can't. He's filling the space here, or preventing you from filling the space. So what you're going to do is the first part of your drill, as he makes contact with you, let him take your weight. Here. Yeah. So just take the arm away. The top arm is not as effective as the bottom arm is really uh, keeping the distance. And take a side um, scarf hold. You're not going to get side control from there. You're not going to be able to take his arm away and get side control because this arm is now that you need to change the angle. See what I did there? That's part one. Part two is this. Again, straight to knee on belly. The most obvious thing. Depending on how he reacts, okay, he will either change to knee on belly defenses or he'll carry on stiff front because it's not a great knee on belly. I haven't got, I haven't got high enough and I haven't got great grips. But this is certainly good enough for you to move on to the next stage, you can either your belly on the other side, or just kind of just try to shift his weight and then you do the same thing again, start forward here, then you work towards a higher side out position. Alright, so that's part two. Part two, stay far, take the weight from your belly. <coughs> okay. Part three is this one. Uh, you stiff arms you, just go around, crush his arms and you're going to knock down. This is like the favour of heavy pressure passing type guys. This is obviously something. Because your arms are only strong, they get weaker and weaker, but the more they're up there, right? So let's start from, he's taking my weight. Just rotate, see what happens. It's not as good, is it? It's easy to collapse. So a three part anti framing drill. All got that? <laughs> if you don't get it, let me know. Yes? Do it slowly. I just passed guard and he stiff up arms me. So I go straight to neon belly. Now, uh, keep the stiff arm up. In neon belly class, we show you all sorts of strangles. Arm bar attack here, arm bar attack here, move to mount, all sorts of things. <laughs> to be honest, against a, 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 a more experienced grappler, when you're in this very low neon belly, chances are you're not going to get any of those. I'm being honest here. And in fact, he's going to escape. So just stiff arm your hip away and. Well, there's all sorts of various things you can push your bottom leg and get into quarter guard and half guard. There's all sorts. So, knee on belly is just a very, very short stopping point for you when you're passing guard. My objective is to hold him down. So, the power that I hold him down, I've got to get this good side control with the cross. So, we're going to do it again. Move down the leg. So, I pass guard. The stiff arms being knee on belly, immediately move the arms straight into here. So your challenge, your drill is go past, he stiff arms you, knee on belly and get rid of them. That's the easiest way. Don't swim through. If you swim through, you get into all sorts of entanglements. Remove straight to cross face, underhook, side mount. The quickest route. Now, even if he's holding in a different part here, yeah, like you can still do it and you're just. He might get it, he might get it. That's fairly easy to remove. Yeah. Okay guys, it's depending on the experience level, they're going to prevent you from passing in a whole variety of different ways. All right. Generally, it's, gonna, it's not even going to be as clean as a nice stiff arm. Because to be honest, if, they're, if they can create that much distance away from you, you're not going to get that position. But how can you? Is he, He's going to do all sorts of money. Mostly they will just try and hip away and get to some sort of hook on you and get a guard on you. All right. Most times you're going to get some sort of like a bit of an elbow, a bit of a 
get the shoulder bit or something, you've got to you get rid of these as well. They're just as effective because I still I need to get head and upper body control. And I'm not getting that if there's any semblance of a limb in the way. Right, so we're just going to show you one thing, we're going to practice one thing. Say I get into uh, this low scarf pole position. And one of the most annoying things is that they just, just put, yeah, see that? Pushes away. And yeah, we, we do do the drill where we lift the arm up and try to get it. You try and do this when they're very, very committed to, yeah, when the elbow is bent. Turn around so you can see. I can't. So sometimes you have to back up a little. So what I like to do from this, and other people might have it, I think you might have some ideas. Is there's no way I can go through from here to here. It's just, it's, and you're fighting, and even from here, this is actually, if he pushes me away, this is actually dangerous for me. Right? You have to recognize that there's a danger, the framing is very strong from here. I back up, here, and then I can go knee on belly. And so, so what you're doing is you're taking the, the you can, he's only strong here. Once his arms come up here, he's not as strong, you're releasing the pressure. And he's very strong here, you're releasing the pressure. I'm going back here, that's what I'm doing with his hips now, I'm controlling his hips. And I'm thinking about what to do. <coughs> so it's bypassing the strongest part. It's like here, and he's turning on the side one. So he can escape very easily or get me back into guard. It's no point fighting through this. I'm backing my body away. But crucially, I'm not just backing away, I'm also controlling his hips. I'm backing away but making him turn like this. See what's happening here? And the whole twisted body concept. So once again, I've just passed his guard. And he's, he's not able to sniff on me because he's much closer, but he might be side control. This knee is in danger of coming in as well. If I'm not careful, he'll just get a knee in and then I'm back into guard. All right? So in this very, very compact position, all right, I'm backing away. See, I'm doing with his knees, I'm making his knees close to the ceiling. I'm also controlling his hips. I'm backing away. And then I have a chance to lay around with his arm because it's not bent in a strong position. He's desperately trying to stop me. And we can start with that thing again. It's a more subtle explanation, but again, more realistic because you're in a closer combat range here. Much closer. So try that for a minute or so, and then we'll do sparring. Yes? Three, two, one, let's go.